Hi there, I wanted to show you how to make a Google Meet. And the first thing you wanna do is go to Google. And the second thing you wanna do is make sure that you're on your CPS account. You can always check it by clicking it to make sure it's your CPS email. And then you're gonna go to this little waffle. And then we're gonna go to calendar. So calendar is what you want. We'll go ahead and click on that. So your Google Calendar is where you can schedule a Google Meet meeting. And it depends on how you like to view your calendar. You can change it so that it's just one day. You can change it to a week, you can change it to a month or a year, whatever is easiest for you. I kind of feel like I like the week one. So then that way you can kind of know when you want to schedule your meeting and use these hours to help you kind of pinpoint so it's a little bit quicker and easier. So let's say if I wanted to have a meeting tomorrow at noon, I can just click on my noon and it automatically pops up to this. So my suggestion would be to go to more options and you need to have a title for your meeting. So maybe this is my technology meeting. And so I clicked on 12 because it automatically goes to an hour default. Um, if it goes longer than an hour, it's still going to be fine. You can just make it an hour and then that way it will just keep going. It's fine. Um, if you want to repeat this meeting, like let's say you want to have this meeting with your kids every week, you can click on this and then go to custom. So custom means, okay, you want to do this every week. So that'd be once a week. And then I said I want it on Wednesday. And here's the big thing. You want to make sure you put that ends on. And then let's say if we want to go to the end of school, we're going to stop it at the 22nd because that's the last day of school for us. I'm going to click on done. And then I am going to click over here where it says add conferencing. And I'm going to click on hangouts meet. So this right here makes your code for your meeting. And all of this information, you can just copy and paste to the parents in an email or class dojo. But you can also individually add people over here to the right where it says add guests. You can type in their emails. And in that way, if you do that, when you click on save, it will ask you to send a Google email to them to remind them of this meeting. So it is a nice feature, especially if you're doing it every week and you know their emails. It's a quick, easy way. Um, so notification over here is asking you, do you want to be notified to be reminded that this meeting is happening? So you can say, you know, tell me in 10 minutes, but you can also say hours or maybe you want a day before just notification to remember. Put that in there. Um, this right here is just telling you your Google calendar. Like this is my personal calendar. We probably have other calendars if you're in different committees for schools. So it's going to say in my calendar, it's busy. If I want to add a description, I can. Parents would see this or whoever I'm giving this meeting with could see this too. And then over here, this is when, it's, when you are adding any guests. You can say, can those people modify this meeting? Can those people invite other people to the meeting? And can they see the people that are in our meeting right now? So that's up to you how you want to see that, that. And then when you're done, you're gonna click on save, and then it automatically shows right here in your calendar. So let's say it's time, I wanna make sure I'm in like 15 minutes before the meeting so that everybody gets in fine. Um, you can just go back to your calendar and click on this, and then click on this link right here that says join Hangouts Meet. And that's going to take you to your meeting, just like if you, invite parents with that guest list, they're gonna get that invite on their Google Calendar if they have one. And they can click on the link and then they're gonna click on join now. 